So I think it's safe to assume most of us have heard about ChatGPT by now, and if you haven't... Prepare for your mind to be blown. You know, I got a gut feeling when COVID came around that things are about to get weird, and I got that same kind of feeling right now. You know, not in a sense of danger that, you know, there, there's this existential virus that can potentially kill us all. 2020, coronavirus. 2120, Greenland. But more in the way that I think things have changed, and they've changed for good. There's gonna be a time before GPT and after GPT, you know what I'm saying? But what I wanna find out today is can this AI tool build or recommend a gaming PC build if I give it a price point? Can it give me uh, all the listed parts? Can it give me accurate prices? And will the parts and recommendations be an actual good gaming PC for let, let's say $800? Let's go ahead and find out. So I've created an account, it's free for everybody and I'm in chat GPT. The first thing I wanna ask it is, can you recommend me a gaming PC for under $1,000? Let's see what it comes up with. So these are pre-built PCs, so I might have to tweak it and let it know that I want to build this PC myself and to list individual components that I could use myself to put together and build a $1,000 gaming PC. All right, this is already kind of interesting for pre-built PCs because for $1,000, what it's recommending is absolutely dog shit. I can't lie. I could find a much better pre-built for $1,000 than an i5-9400F and a 1660. 1,000%. So let's be a little more specific that we want to build it. Can you recommend PC parts for a $1,000 gaming PC build? So here's what ChatGPT gave us. The Core i5-10600K CPU, the RTX 3060 for the graphics card, a motherboard of the Asus ROG Strix B460F, 16GB of DDR4, 3200MHz, a 500GB SSD, and a 600 watt 80 plus bronze power supply, and the case is the Fantex Eclipse P400A. So I really don't know how accurate this is for up-to-date prices, so let's go to PC Part Picker, input all these, and see how close it gets to that actual $1,000 price point. So now we are in PC Part Picker. We want to put in the i5-10600K. Um, i5-10600K. There we go, $149. The CPU cooler, it did not give us one. Um, we'll just go with the standard Intel cooler that comes with it. We'll just go with that. For now, I would not recommend that, but we'll go with that. For the motherboard, it went with an Asus ROG Strix B460. B460F. No price is available on that, I don't know why. For memory, it went with 16 gigabytes of DDR4 3200. We'll just throw in this Corsair Vengeance, it's no RGB. It's a good price. So it recommended a 500 gigabyte M.2. We'll throw in the Samsung 970 EVO Plus. It goes for $60. For the video card, it went for an RTX 3060. We'll just throw in the MSI RTX 3060, 12 gig, $369. The case was a Fantex P400A. Great case, by the way, this is a great recommendation. For the power supply, it went with a 600 watt bronze, about as cheap as you can go. Um, you know, cheap though, $80 for this EVGA one. And so without a CPU cooler, we're looking right around $800. So actually $200 cheaper. If we threw an AIO, maybe it would bring it up to about $900. But regardless, it's pretty close to the recommended price that I asked it. The problem still is that for $1,000, I don't think that is the number one recommended PC that I would do, especially not a 10th gen i5. The rest of the build, sure, you know, RTX 3060, I would definitely bump up to a one terabyte M.2 as, you know, you can get those for under $100 and it's definitely worth it to go from 500 to one terabyte. Now we know it can kind of actually build us a PC, one that's compatible with each other and one that is, you know, pretty close to the recommended budget I gave it. But what if I gave it some more parameters, for example, like I want to build a gaming PC that's focused on single threaded performance for uh, most video games, or what if I want to build a thousand dollar multi-threaded machine that is good for video editing. Now I'm kind of curious. So I think this is just the first episode of me diving in, into the capabilities of ChatGPT when it comes to PC building or PC gaming. What would you guys like to see me ask and what else should I test on it? I think the opportunities are limitless here and it's just gonna get better over time. And maybe the next one that you guys recommend for me to look up, I will actually buy the parts and build the PC and see just how good it really is. If that's something that interests you, let me know. Leave a like, subscribe, comment, down below. We'll see you guys in the next one.